Hello fans of Final Fantasy 15 multiplayer expansion comrades. Today I'm going to show you kind of a spell casting, kind of an attacking, kind of a defense build that I created using materials within the game. And I'm going to show you the weapons and the additional items that I use to create the build. Um, first off we have the Holy Shield which is also known as a panacea shield which you can buy in the style um, there's one thing I would notice that the faded crossbow that is found in the map node in 1.2 update is just as good and you can build it just the same so keep that in mind um, then you got bryonic which is um, found in the shield for Medelso or something like that. Shields for Medalisco. I have no idea how to say it. But you gotta break the brain dancer in that quest. So be on the lookout, that's a little bit of a grind. Um, the next thing you got is the Kane's Lance, which can be found in a 1.20 node as well, um, with the faded crossbow. And you can do it by unlocking the power grid and finding the Kane's Lance. The last one on the list that's needed is the Crimson Flashes, which can be found by breaking the face of the Banner Snatch in the Belfour Banner Snatch mission. Now, um, I'm going to go with the abilities and tell you exactly what all they do. So, on the first Holy Shield that we have, the one that you can replace uh, with the Faded Crossbow, they have the same abilities. Um, it says Curative Spell Asuna, and a detailed says. Caster's default cure of spell also cures the target of various status alignments. This is very good when your teammate is um, turned to stone or confused or poisoned or anything like that. And it also has cure of spell Curiga, which details Caster's default cure of spell changes as a superlative health restoring magic. So if your teammate is on the verge of dying or they're injured or um, they're losing an HP, if they're losing HP, just go up there, press up to equip Holy Shield, and R2 and Triangle, and you will cure them completely. So, with this weapon, the Bio Bionic, um, Bionic or something, Bro Bionic, I don't even know. Anyway, let me just say what it says. Um, Charge Strike Clear Out states that charge attacks change into ride range sweeping strikes that cost MP. Pretty good for an attack build and its permanent perk also includes warp combo Blizzaga. Cast a superlative ice type elemental spell after successful warp strike. And um, what that means is every time I warp strike into an enemy I'm going to cast Blizzaga afterwards. Um, Kane's Lance has Charge Strike Chaos Bringer, which states charge attacks become powerful forward thrusts. This is very good for an attack build, and out of all the pole arms, Kane's Lance is the one with the highest attack power of them all in the whole game. So, it also has Warp Combo Thunderga, which casts a super light of lightning type elemental spell after successful Warp Strike. So, same with the Bionic. Um, Kane's Lance will, when you successfully warp strike into an enemy, you'll cast a, a spell. Um, Crimson's Flashes. I added with a Sky Gemstone the spell Dyra, and um, you can get the Sky Gemstone at the Chocobo Arena by completing the Choco Pro tournament twice. And every time after you complete it after that, you'll keep on getting Sky Gemstones to add Dyra to your weapon. Um, Dyra states, Caster's default offensive spell changes into super uh, or superior light type elemental magic. So anytime I have these equipped, I can press L2 and O or 0. Yeah, just so. And um, it will cast the spell. And it also has Warp Combo Fireaga, which if I Warp Strike an enemy, you guessed it, casts a superlative fire type elemental spell after successful Warp Strike. 
Now, to mention stuff like royal sigils, whenever you're equipping them, if it, it replaces the offensive spell, you're gonna lose Dyra in this build. And if it replaces the uh, Curative spell, you're going to lose Asuna and Kuriga. So um, the warp combos are going to stay forever, but you gotta watch out for some, certain sigils, whether you keep Kuriga, Asuna, or Dyra. Um, I have on Spectral Arms, which would prevent me from casting Dyra. But uh, you just got to read the description of the World Sigils to find out. Now the items that I used in order to create this awesome build is... Dragon Horns. And it gives plus 15 to Strength, Magic, and Spirit for 2,500 EXP. I also used Zoo Beaks, which gives 26 um, Vitality for 2,300 EXP. So that was how I got all of my stats up high, and it took a very much a long time. I mean, a long, long time. So in the end, I got four elemental spells. I got Blizzaga, Thunderga, Firega, and Dyra, and then I got a Cure. So I also got good attack, um, good HP, good MP. You know, most most of the Warp Strike um, weapons have MP included in them. So, I also used um, uh, flame shards, sort of, to help boost my elemental resistances. So, keep that in mind, too. So, hopefully, this has helped you out. And if it did, give a like and um, probably subscribe, too, because I'm going to be putting out more content. Um, and if you found any other good weapons out there that I might have missed, Make sure to comment below. Thank you for watching and have a good day.